Hi, it's Mary O'Toole from the LightWithinWellness.com. Is there something in your life that you've been putting off doing? Like, is there a feeling inside of you that keeps nudging you or a thought that you keep having about something you want to be or do? Whether you want to be a yoga teacher but it doesn't make any sense, whether you want to move and switch careers, in your mind it's not making any sense but deep inside there's this feeling there's a strong nudge you want to you want to do it so look right now or just pay attention is there something in your life or is there a feeling that you're having about a change you need to make which you're too scared but you're stopping yourself because your mind is saying it's it doesn't make any sense Is there a feeling that keeps coming up on a regular basis where you're like, you should keep pushing it down? So, for example, when I um, started yoga, I started as yoga as a home practice um, with videotapes years ago. And it was at a time that I was really stressed in my life. My husband was deployed to Iraq at the time, so I couldn't sleep and I wasn't anxious person by nature anyway so adding an extra layer of anxiety onto my already anxious body um, was really tough and so I knew that I didn't want to take sleeping pills and all that and, and someone suggested try yoga so I did and I did a home practice at home and for some reason I kept doing it without I don't know why I did that but I felt the need to keep doing it and then eventually I found a yoga studio um, so because I wanted to make sure I'm doing it right and I found a yoga studio that felt right for me. And then months later they were, I noticed they were offering yoga teacher training. And inside of me I felt this pull, this nudge, this, I felt like a magnet, I can't even describe it, almost like a rope out of my heart pulling me towards this yoga teacher training. It's something I never really paid attention to or, or I've known that I felt before and it didn't make any sense to me because I worked in corporate, I was focusing on my on my job, on my career and yoga teacher, becoming a yoga teacher was nowhere on my radar screen. So it was just a weird feeling of I felt the need to be in it and I just couldn't explain it. And I fought it, fought it, and I'm like, no, no, no. I, like, that doesn't make any sense. And I keep pushing it away. And I talked to my husband, and him being the supportive person that he is, he just, just do it. Why not? Just do it. And I was like, but I, have, I you don't understand. I don't want to be a yoga teacher. But I do want to learn about my body. I, I am curious about this whole yoga stuff. So with his encouragement and getting past a bit of my resistance, I decided to join and the first three months I wanted to quit I was like it doesn't make any sense for me to be in this training my body is um, I can't go into the poses like other people can there's limitations in my body my body made all sorts of noise because it was so tight and stressed and out of alignment and it just wasn't making any sense for me to be in that training so my mind was like what are you doing quit give up don't do it but in my heart in my body there was still this strong feeling of doing this and look what happened I came out of th that after the three months I something switched and flipped came out of that training wanting to teach yoga wanting to teach yoga at a deep level wanting to connect with people showing people that can do a variation of yoga so if I hadn't listened to that feeling inside of me that nudge of that pull towards that training I wouldn't be where I am today so I want you to pay attention to those feelings to those wantings it's a deep connection it's a deep feeling within yourself not in your mind the mind plays all sorts of tricks and and you'll know it what I mean I bet you've experienced it before we you, maybe you just didn't pay attention but now you will right I want you to really pay attention to it because that to me is the universe nudging you in a direction that is good and in your best interest. At least that was my experience. So this week I invite you to really pay close attention 
to how you're feeling and what's showing up for you. And if you already have the feelings about something you want to do or something you want to be or change you need to make, write down, journal about it, be with it. Talk to someone, maybe not a close friend, but someone who can be neutral and coach you through this and help you guide you through to your decision or process through that feeling of why this is coming up for you. It's really important. Otherwise, we keep living a life that maybe is a challenge that's not for our highest good. So today, today and this week, please pay attention to the feelings and notice if there's anything pulling you in some direction that you need to go in. I'm here for you. If I can be a yoga teacher and I'm the least likely person in my mind to be that, you can be anything you want to. Have a wonderful week. And I hope you take this on. Please let me know if you have any questions, any comments, send me a message, leave me a comment below. Thank you. Namaste.